I'll show you how to log on a student into the Clever portal. Uh, you're going to log on to the internet. We use Google Chrome, but you could use any browser that you like. In your search window, you're going to search for Calaveras Unified School District and then push enter. And our website, school district website, is right here. So click on that one. On this first page of our district website, you will see a link that says how to access online learning tools. So if you click there, it'll go directly to the directions. <laughs> and it'll tell you, number one, on the internet computer, go to google.com and click sign in. So we're going to do that right now. I don't have it up here, so I'm going to go to the, my browser and search for google.com and push enter. On the right, you will see a sign in. So go ahead and click sign in. And in this box, you're going to um, log in with your student's username, and then you're going to add at custudents.net. So let me show you how that looks. Okay, so I have entered my student's username at custudents, with an S on the end, dot net, and then click next. And then on the next page, it'll have your student's name, and you're going to put in the password that's on your card. Your teacher will give that to you. So put in your student's password and then click next. Okay, so this is our Google page and right here you will see your student's picture, your student's initial of their name, and that indicates that they are signed in. So now we could go to, to our Calaveras Unified School District page, click here and on our online directions. Of course, if you printed it out, you wouldn't have to go back in. Number two, have student use their email. We've done that. And number three is click on this link. This is our clever link. So now that we've signed in, we can click on that link. And on this page, all of our students know, we're gonna click right here, student login information. Here is our clever portal. And if your teacher has a page, it'll show right here, which they have links to assignments. We have edutyping, so that's keyboarding skills. SAM is our reading counts program. Moby Max has math flashcards. Uh, they also have lots of great phonics social studies, science, and reading programs. McGraw-Hill is our uh, English language arts. Newzella, articles that the students could look up and then do a little activity afterwards. So that would be good for fourth, fifth, and up students that need to do reading but don't have a book necessarily to Google Classroom for any teacher that has Assignment set up in the Google Classroom, you just click right there in Google Drive. Anybody that has been in the computer lab and has made Google Slides with Mrs. Danner, you could find them under Google Drive. So I'm going to go through each of these with you so you know how to use all of them. We'll start with edutyping. You can click on edutyping. How to get onto your resume where you were. You just click right here under resume. And then the student just follows along typing with their hands on the home row. And this is the home row that shows you where to put your hands. So on the keyboard, they keep their hands on the home row as they're typing. They're all very great at that. If you're done with edgy typing, you could click on the tab to close. The next one is Sam, so that's our reading counts. Okay, this is reading counts. If you need to take a quiz, you're going to click on the rainbow side. Take a quiz. 
And the students could look up the book, uh, Hop on Pop, click Find It, make sure that's the book and the correct author, click on it, and it'll have 10 questions. If you can't find the book through the title, you also could look it up from the author. And then you'll have all the books from that person's last name. So it's another way to find. Some of the titles are very long. So the best way to do it is author. Okay, so when you're done with that, you could exit. Yes. Goodbye. And then close your tab up here in the top right. And reading inventory is we get to the point where we need to do a find out their reading lexile. That's where. Okay, so we're going to get out of Sam. I'm going to show you Moby Max. Okay, so if a teacher has put an assignment up on reading on Moby Max, it'll show up right here. That pops up for on the books. These are all of this is math. This is the flashcards, fact fluency. Let me show you how that looks. Click on the green arrow to go to the next page. Here come the fun facts. You need to be fast to answer each problem in six seconds. So we usually do this for about 10 minutes with the students. Nine plus one equals. And they have to put much? in the answer. Seven plus two equals. How and much? If they're not fast enough, I'll show you what happens. It's the time thing. So just encourage your kids to keep trying and do their best. They zero plus zero have equals. to do the math and much? they also have to find the keys on the keyboard to answer the question. So please Nine encourage them. Equals. They will get better, faster, faster all the time. The if you're ready to change equals. how much to a different subject in Moby Max, you're gonna click on the house. And it says, do you want to leave now or finish what you're doing? So we, you could go ahead and click leave now. <laughs> go back to the books. And then we have reading stories. All these phonic ones are great for the littles. We have science and social studies. Some of the kids love to do those on when they have free choice. And math. After they've done 15 minutes on the subject, they will earn game time through Moby Max. So under the balloons, we have game time. And this one states that the person needs to do 13 more minutes before they get game done enough work. You will earn games on Moby Max. So just remind the students, okay, you need to do more work. Anything in this under the books, any subject to earn game time. Okay, we're going to get out of Moby Max now. McGraw Hill, that's our language arts. And we're loading it. And then you're going to have to click launch. Okay, this is Wonders. So this is our language arts. Some teachers like to put assignments under the to-do. So you would click on this circle to get your teacher assignments. These are vocabulary words to know. This is writing. These are games and books. Then you could always have your student go to read. read. They pick one of the books for the week that they would like to read. And here is a book. So reading it, you could click off. Let's try a different one. And this particular book, you'll notice speakers. So anytime there's speakers, the computer will read it aloud to the student. So let me start with the title. Genre, biography, Cesar Chavez. Click on the speaker. Essential question. What do heroes do? Read about a man who took action to improve the lives of others. And then your actual story starts here. So you can push the speaker and it will read out loud. Who are your heroes? When you're finished with this, 
You can close that tab. Lee is games. And they have the games of the week. I can click on one. Read each sentence. Choose the pronoun that best completes each sentence. Sam wants to help blank community. You're going to choose which one you think is best. And then click check. Fantastic. So we are done with Wonders, McGraw-Hill. Click there to close it. We have Newzella. So this is Newzella. It will come up with the newest articles if your student sees something they want to read about. But there's other ways that you could look to. <clears throat> we could search. So if they like dogs, put in dogs and you'll get articles about dogs. You have more filters here. So if you need a certain grade level, your grade, we'll do grade five. We could get more detailed search. So these would be appropriate grade five articles to read about dogs. I'm going to click on one so I could show you. So I like to remind the students a few things. They should read everything, including the little captions underneath the pictures. <clears throat> this will tell you how many words are in this article, 320. That's because this article is a 400 lexile. You could actually change the lexile. Let's change it to 840. It's the same article, but you will have almost double the word. So now the word count is 602 just by changing the lexile. And then at the very end of reading the article, there's an activity. So read the article, do the activity. Just keep in mind that you could change the lexile. So if something's too hard or too simple, change the lexile to something different. So the binder will show your progress. I'm actually looking at obviously a younger student, so they have not done Newzella. This is more so fourth, fifth, sixth, and up grades. So it'll show all of the ones that they've read in your binder. Okay, we're gonna get out of, and I'm gonna show you Google Classroom. So any student, that teacher has posted assignments in Google Classroom, here's a link directly to it. Google Drive. Let me show you Google Drive. Any of the kids that have done Google Slides with Ms. Danner, Google Documents, you can find it under your Google Drive. Let me, when you click on Google Drive, you will get, you'll get you see your username. This is the same one that we logged on in the beginning to get onto uh, the Clever portal, the Google login. It's your user student's username at custudents.net and the same password. So it should already be in there. You, you could just click right here where it says, go to Google. Okay, and this is the Google Drive. And right here, we call this the nine square. So the nine square will be your menu to get to Google Slides, Google Docs. Those are the two. There's also a link to Google Classroom. And let me show you how to log out. I've closed all the tabs except for Clever still open. Under the paper is your student's name. If you click there, you can click log out. 